what's up you guys this is a little itinerary for the video uh, the second half if you guys don't like hearing me talk the whole time I try to shut up the whole the whole second half just to enjoy these beautiful beautiful lake and mountain views this is a beautiful stroll and uh, yeah love you guys get ready for the snow it's coming on the 19th through the 23rd yeah. peace out to you guys I love you guys enjoy the video well hello everybody how you guys doing today? It's December 15th, and I am going for a little cruise on my feet. We're gonna take a little walk along the beach up here in Big Bear. Um, hope you're all doing well. If you like what I do, like and subscribe, and please help me out, I'd appreciate it. Um, it's It'll help us all out. I'm also trying to get some ski adventures together for all of us, and for summertime hiking things where a bunch of us can get together and go do some hiking and stuff like that. I think that'd be cool. Maybe get some, some barbecues set up and see if, if, if I can get us any discount if we all stay at, at one of these local hotels. That'd be pretty cool, right? So, uh, but yeah. Oh, also I'm wearing another one of the c colored beanies of my original beanies. <clears throat> if you guys are ever interested in the originals, they're the 100% fine merino wool ones. They are the most comfortable beanies and our new knit beanies from the website are freaking phenomenal too much much better priced so we got something for everyone now but yeah um be be aware on the 19th in the evening is when we're going to start seeing our first part of this storm system coming through and i'm going to show you guys right now what it shows on on my uh, weather channel app i always use bensweather.com though to read what's going to happen because he focuses primarily on our area up here and that's it bensweather.com he is the best he's a good friend of mine we talk during every storm and he gives me updates and stuff like that i feel so special that someone i idolize actually like texts me and calls me like the dude is just so cool so bensweather.com get your merchandise before christmas bigbearweatherandmore.com and yeah let's do this beautiful walk look this is what we're going to be walking right along right here how just absolutely marvelous so first we're going to take the walk down here to get this nice view of the whole lake we're literally at the very edge of the the very end of the lake right here so we're going to hop over this tree trunk here but yeah guys so let me just show you real quick what is coming our way in terms of Zueza. Get my other phone out. Look at my beautiful baby. She's so beautiful. I'm so lucky. I don't know how I got such a beautiful woman. I feel like I, I look like the elephant, man. You know? Um, all right, so let me try and find a little bit of a shade spot here so you can see the screen. Okay. So check it out. Again, I look at this um, when I'm not looking at Ben's weather because this, I can click on the dates and stuff like that. But I'm telling you what, Ben's does have the best, most accurate uh, forecast you can get primarily for our area. So Tuesday the 19th, and by the way, Rachel and I are, are checking into a hotel on the 19th through the whole storm. So we're going to be there for four nights. So I can also hopefully do the time lapse of the storm from there. I'd like to do a, a, a different hotel every storm so we can uh, get a different time-lapse perspective every time. So check this out. So starting at night, cloudy skies, the late night snow showers, low 29, wind slight, variable chance of snow, 60%, snow accumulation less than an inch. Let's go to the 20th. I'll let you guys go ahead and read that. So where the accumulation begins is on Wednesday night. It says only about one inch. Earlier it said, when I flipped through to the 21st, down here it said three to five inches, but obviously it changed to, to one to three, but it could definitely change back. It could definitely change back. So we got snow on that day as well. Come on, you stupid ring doorbell. And then the next day, the most accumulation looks like on Friday the 22nd. And then we check out of the hotel probably right when the storm ends, which is exactly what my plan was. And it looked like we were going to get some snow around Christmas time, but it's it's kind of whittling away at that chance. Let's go back to Christmas again. So this is Christmas 42 and 22. But yeah, guys, this is going to be potentially pretty great. 
for our first actual snowstorm. I know I already caught the first snowfall. I know it wasn't anything special, but it was the first snowfall. So um, like five snowflakes. I think there were maybe seven snowflakes and I caught them all. I caught them all. But yeah, guys, we are definitely, definitely in for some major changes in our weather and it's a beautiful thing. So I thought we would walk to the end over here and then kind of take the little cruise around a bit. But I'm really excited to do this. I'm in such horrible shape, you guys. Anyway, a good friend of ours on the channel, Deborah, sent me just the nicest card, the, the nicest letter. I mean, just you guys are so unbelievable and so un just so beautiful. My heart is always full when I'm dealing with you guys. You guys give me something to live for. You guys give me purpose. You guys give me hope. You guys give me strength. And I love you guys so much. I really don't know what I would do without you all. So thank you for the continued support. Also, great news. We partnered up with... Uh, with uh, get boards, ski and snowboard rentals. So un uh, from now until Christmas time, make sure that you guys uh, get over there because they're gonna offer, if you say that you came in there because of our channel, um, they're, they're gonna wax your skis and snowboards for free and do that stuff, tune them up, all that stuff. They'll do it for free and they might even do some more stuff for you guys. Um, if, uh, since it's a brand new partnership, um, just remember the name Tony. He's the owner. His name's Tony. Um, just in case the employee doesn't, doesn't recognize um, our partnership. As I said, it is brand new. But he said he was going to let all the employees know. So that'd be, that'd be cool. Also, you can get your lift tickets on their website at getboards.com. www.getboards.com. And... Uh, when it comes to their ski rentals, they offer daily discounted rentals, you guys. The prices there absolutely smoke the resorts for your rentals. I paid just under $60 on opening day for my ski rentals. And uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna fall through here. Pay yeah, 60 bucks, which is kind of a high price to pay. Um, it's going to be significantly less through get boards and by the way about get boards they've got the high-end high-end products too and demos and all that good stuff so you'll definitely be in good hands with the best best quality stuff for the best price up here and again if you mention that you are there because of the channel it will benefit you guys a hundred percent you'll get better prices um and uh yeah I'm just really, really excited about it because I've heard a lot of good things about get boards. That's why I was trying my best to develop a relationship with them. And uh, I really hope that these relationships I develop with some of our local companies does help you guys out because that's the whole point. That is the whole entire point is to take care of all you guys. Something cool. I know I, I, you guys know I talk a lot, but uh, something cool that happened is a good friend of mine up here, he surprised me with something called the Companion Pass. And what the Companion Pass is, is this year is the first year that Altera, the company that owns the ski resorts, offered the employees, and I don't know if it's all employees, but I think it is. They offered the employees something called the Companion Pass, which means that they can give away one per season to their a family member or a friend. And basically what it is, is it's the icon pass. You get the annual pass to these resorts where I can ski anytime I want. I didn't have to pay anything for it. He hooked me up. Like, guys, how crazy cool is that? And then get boards. Tony offered me because he knows I ski on my old skis that are old, but they're still fun. He offered me a, a free ski rental for the whole season. 
So I'm going in next week to pick up my skis and I don't have to bring them back until the end of the season, like for free. Like guys, this is, who would have thought that this channel would afford me opportunities like this? This is, this is just crazy cool. I am very, very lucky. And again, you guys, this is all for you guys. Obviously the skis that I got are for me, but um, everything that I do here, guys, everything that I do, when I stay at these hotels, I'm trying to get my name known at every place that I go to just so I can try to help you guys out more. I want you guys to come up here and not have to spend a bloody fortune on everything because we are a tourist town. And during the tourist season, the main tourist season, my gosh, guys, everything is so expensive. But that's how tourist towns work. I don't find it fair how much they charge like uh for instance the hotel that i'm staying at during the weekday next week it, it, like i found some prices for 61 dollars per night which is so cheap but because we're staying for the whole storm and the storm goes through um i'll be checking out saturday um the price went up to 157 dollars per night for the four nights so it's a uh, Obviously, that's a weekend that has nothing to do with tourism. Every hotel does that, where they charge you a lot more on the weekends. But uh, when we do have our holidays and snow on the holidays also, I mean, be prepared, you guys, to cash out your 401k to come stay up here. But it, it, it is worth it to get out of that daily grind that we all go through and to come just exhale a bit. It's definitely worth a few extra bucks. But remember, I'm always gonna try to do my best to save you guys as much as I can. Um, again, that's why I, I do a lot of what I do, is because I want to help you guys, give you guys the best opportunities possible in this town. And the longer I do this, I've been doing this for nine years, the longer I do this, the more more business owners I'm going to get to know very well and the more I'm going to be able to help you guys out. I am so beyond thankful for each and every single one of you. My life is so amazing because of you guys. And I really hope that my channel does do something for you all, you know? I really hope it does. And I say my channel, but it, it's really our channel. Hey guys. Good afternoon to you. What a beautiful day. And look, you got all these jets, this jet path. There's a jet right above us right there. But look at, look at all that. So beautiful. So as I said, we're gonna take the turn around the lake over here. Temperature is about 55 degrees. Which is a little too warm for us this time of year, you guys. We need our temperatures to be dropping big time. Usually by this point, there'll be a few days where we're in the 30s and maybe even upper 20s for our high temperature, but I don't see any of that in the near forecast. Of course, on Christmas, it's going to be 42 for our high temperature, but still, that's, I, I guess that's closer to average for this time of year, but we are getting a late start, and I just need all of you to, as I've said before, keep your fingers crossed that we make up for it, because without the snow, we lack tourism, and without tourism, none of us get to live here. It's because of you guys, 
coming up here and spending money that that weirdos like me get to live here. Hi, duckies. Quack, quack. I just went by Snow Summit because I was going to do a snow report on the mountain. Just walking around. But unfortunately, it was ridiculously packed. There was no parking for about a mile. When I go skiing there, my trick is I'm going to have a friend drop me off. Obviously, I'm going to try and have my wife go as much as we possibly can. My only issue, guys... It's so embarrassing, but it's my issue, is I wasn't going to go skiing at all, only on my birthday because it's free, if I wouldn't have received that ski pass. And then I'd still have to rent the ski rentals, which uh, made me freak out a little bit too. Like, uh, I work really hard, guys, but it's a daily grind, a daily struggle for me, just like a lot of you. I know I sound like I'm complaining, but... I try not to. I just try to vent and let you guys know how I'm feeling and what I'm going through. Because you are my family, and it's a lot easier to talk to you guys than most people. But, uh, yeah, so now I want to make sure that I can take my wife with me. It's just tough because it's so expensive. Obviously, she's worth every penny, so I'm going to do everything I can to get her skiing with me, of course. I just wish I could take her every single time. And I'm trying to find some way to, to make that happen. Like um, maybe I can, even though I don't have time, maybe I can try to work for like a day a week at the resort. I know that's not possible because I used to work there and, and the, 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 they won't let you work that part time. So that's a huge bummer for me. There's the plane about to go on for a landing. But yeah, guys, I mean, I really want to be able to spend this quality time with my beautiful bride, you know? And skiing would be good exercise for us together. So I'll get it figured out. There's also a slight chance of an, another issue. I didn't know if I was really going to talk about it, but I'm quite behind on uh, on rent and stuff like that. So I've been really worried about getting that three-day pay or quit notice because if that ends up happening, I'm going to have to move move down the mountain, which means an end to the channel, and uh, that would be like a death in the family. I just, I, I, I can't let that happen. So I'm doing the best I can. For all of you out there, just like me, struggling but working hard, you're not alone. You are not alone. Life is not easy. It's worth it, but it's not easy. And, uh, you know, I have a bunch of financial obligations that I wish I didn't have, but I am obliged to them, or sorry, obligated to them. And if I don't make these specific payments, it doesn't only hurt me. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's stress every single day. I don't sleep at night very well. I find myself in tears often, you know. Like five grand would be like, phew, that would get me right back to everything being kosher again. So I'm doing what I can. I'm trying to take more and more work on my regular job. As you guys know, I work 60 plus hours every single week. Even when I went to go see my dad in Florida for three days, um, 
I had someone working for me, but I still had to take all the phone calls. So I've I, I, I've never had a day off, guys, in in almost six years. No, it's been a little more than six years. I, I haven't had a technical day off. As I said, when I went to go see dad in Florida, I still had to take all the phone calls for my business. All the calls from my employee and then all the calls from the customers and then back and forth between the employees and the customers to set up certain schedules and stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's the never ending grind you guys, but the people in my life who I've seen succeed the most might not have been the smartest, but they were at work, showed up way before anybody else got there and they left after everyone else left. It's the people who work hard and have that great work ethic. Those are the ones who always end up succeeding. Always. It materializes. Always. But sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but it will always materialize. Anyway, I, again, I know I talk a lot, you guys. Believe it or not, if you met me in person, I'm not that talkative. Something happens to me when I hit that record button, though. And I know that I'm talking to you guys. I get so free. And it's so easy for me to talk to you guys. Because you guys are very supportive and loving and listen to what I'm saying and are always there to support me. I just want to continue to be a, a good example and do the best I can for you guys and, and, and make you guys proud. And reverting back, not only making you guys proud, but helping you guys save save money up here and just yeah that's that is my goal guys that is my goal so we're just taking a seat right here hi ducky hi showing off for me right now. Come here. Come on. Come here. You want to bite the stick, huh? You want to bite the stick? They're like, heck no, I don't want to bite the stick. Who does that? Who does that? They are so pretty. Look at how many of them there are. There's a big group over there. Come here, ducky, ducky. Come on, look at how beautiful your colors are. Look at that. guys I'm gonna go see your other group of friends over there okay all right guys it is a nice brisk walk right now as I said it is 55 but there's a little bit of a breeze it's cooling it down a bit but that Sun feels tremendous
All right, so on the way back, you guys, I'm gonna try not to talk at all. Nice little cove right here. guys. 
I don't condone violence ever, ever. If you see someone doing stuff like that up here, slap their head off their shoulders. Keep, keep that stuff down the mountain. This is like one of the few places left that still is fairly decent, you know? At least in Southern California. We, we've gotta keep it, we gotta keep it good, guys. It's just so frustrating. I know everyone who watches this channel, you guys are not the type of people that would deface this place or litter or just turn it into down the mountain. Remember, this is all your vacation spots too. And as I said, I know none of you guys would ever do anything like that, but it's just shocking how people can be so douchey and do stuff like that. You guys know how I feel about that stuff. I get really upset when I see stuff like that. The fine's only like a thousand dollars also. It's just such a joke. If the fine was something just out of control, ridiculous, like 10 grand for littering intentionally or, or defacing the area at all, I think that would deter people. Hey, my bro, I'm probably not going to be home until probably 2.30ish or 3 o'clock. So if you just wanted to swing that by, that would be great. Or if you want to swing by a little bit after that, that would be great as well. I'll talk to you soon, my brother from another mother. very fortunate I haven't had any business calls since we've been out here so that's good I don't have to rush I had that one but he's a, a really good friend so he'll be a little patient with me I'm not gonna have to get on my horse and get out of here right away So yeah guys, 
as I said, for the merchandise stuff, make sure you go to bigbearweatherandmore.com. But if you wanted to get the OG beanies that, uh, that I sell personally, instead of a company shipping it, then uh, for these 100% fine merino wool with a beautiful leather patch, I've got four different colors and then four different colors with, uh, with a brown leather patch. This is the original, the black and white. So um, in, in terms of patches. So if you guys want that, you just send me a, 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 send me a comment and then uh, I'll respond with my email address or send me an email. It's in the description of every video, my email address and then how to help also, like my cash app, Venmo and stuff, if you guys ever wanna help the channel. It really, it really does help. But uh, yeah, these ones personally, I ship to you. And uh, so let's say you place the order at noon. I'll have two hours to get to the post office to ship it out and uh, I can ship it out that day. And usually because I send the flat rate priority shipping envelopes, um, that cost is like $9.94. Um, you guys can check that out also. Um, I rounded up to, to $10, so it's like a five or six cent difference. I'm not trying to make any money off of it, obviously. I just want you guys to get the OG beanies. And as I said, our, our knit beanies are ridiculously awesome as well. It blew away my expectations. They also have a leather patch. Um, just great, great, great quality for half the price. Obviously, 100% fine merino wool is what Gucci and Prada and Louis Vuitton and all those companies make their beanies out of. It's, it's like the finest, finest material for my fine friends and family on the channel. But yeah, just send me an email and then uh, I'll get right back to you and we can exchange information. And then yeah, just uh, send the money over to the cash app and or Venmo for the beanie and I will get it shipped right away and I will be communicating with you guys constantly regarding the shipping I'll send you a picture of the receipt that has the tracking information on it but as I said usually if you're in California every time I've shipped one of these beanies out it arrives the next day every single time so I, I really hope you guys uh really have a lot of pride in the brand because I do and I have a lot of pride in you guys and I love making you guys smile and I love reading the comments I can never stress enough how much you guys have impacted my life with just how kind you are to me guys are the best therapists I have ever encountered in my entire existence and I will always be there for you guys too and my actions definitely speak louder than my words but yeah gosh it's so beautiful out here and so quiet so many planes I mean look at look at all these trails in the sky they're everywhere today just so cool maybe we'll hike up to the to the alpine pedal path and take that back but I kind of want to walk along the beach back. I, you know what? I'm just going to stay on the beach. This stuff is turning into like quicksand. So I just got to be a little careful. Okay, that's right. I was supposed to be quiet. I'll start again. This 
real quick. I'm gonna try to be quiet the whole way back. Think I can do it? <laughs> I don't think so, but I'm gonna try. Three, two, one.
Look at this little tributary. Yes, I, I spoke. I can't believe I lasted this long. So perfect. It is so beautiful out here. I appreciate you guys cruising with me today. We'll be doing a bunch of ski videos this season and starting soon. Obviously our regular snow videos. So get ready for those. Calm before the storm comes on the, on the 18th, you guys. It's almost here, three more days for the calm before the storm. Yay! Gosh, look at this. All right, you guys. Well, I think that's gonna do it for us today. If you enjoyed what I'm doing, if you liked that video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Even share the video, I'd really appreciate it. Um, Let's, let's mess with that algorithm and get our videos spread a lot further. That would be awesome. But as I said, get ready, get prepared, because we are we're going to have an awesome season when it comes to this channel. We have another hotel video that we're, we're doing around the 19th. That will be cool to add to the lodging list. I'm excited about that. But yeah, in the meantime, you guys, have a beautiful, wonderful rest of your weekend. And if you're ever in Big Bear, I'm not a pompous guy. I love to meet you guys. Hit me up. I would love, if I don't have a lot of time, I'll at least make time to come say hello, okay? So hit me up. And uh, if you guys want to help support the channel, besides liking, subscribing in the description of the video, there are methods on, on how you can support us and help us out. All right, well, thank you guys. And again, have a wonderful weekend. It's December 15th, 2023. And December 19th is the day we've been waiting for, for the snow. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.